That is so fetch. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Kaya and today we are going to be listening to Arch Spire for the very first time. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I think it's Arch Spire and not Arc Spire. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments. Um, Dyslexic Penguin, huge shout out to you. This is your personal request, which I am honoring today. Um, Dyslexic Penguin personally uh, donated to the Patreon via the Metal Monday stream and requested these two songs so i'm very very excited to listen to this both of these songs now are with season of mist too so we're partnered with season of mist if you want to find out more information about season of mist and more of their bands on their roster do go check out their links down below in my description as well as the links for arch spire um anything that you want to get as far as uh info for tours merch um and you know more more records if you want to buy some some cds or vinyls do so with the links down below okay so without further ado let's get into the music we're going to be listening to the very first song which is involuntary doppelganger fitting so many lyrics he's like rapping like eminem in terms of how fast these lyrics are going oh my gosh <laughs> Instantly went from like at being at a metal show to drinking like vodka martinis and a 50s bar girl and I'm wearing a skin tight dress. That is this vibe now. Technical death metal at its finest. Let's continue. <laughs>
What on earth? <laughs> I'm so impressed with this song. First, he's like Eminem style rapping these lyrics in terms of their delivery. I didn't realize that they were technical death metal until I like looked at their profile as we were listening to this song and I was like okay that makes sense um (laughs) I love the intensity of these like verses and the chorus and then when they open up to this kind of like guitar jam they give it so much space to really breathe and just like do its thing so it's um it's not as like intense and it's a nice like in a good way and it's a nice um, break and just this nice breath of fresh air in between all of these like really intense wrapped out verses and then of course you have a little jazz interlude you know cocktail hour um, <laughs> what I also like is they play around a lot with the panning of different instruments like different little guitar riffs they kind of go like ding 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 like a pinball machine um And they also play around with some electronic elements, um, little tiny, uh, details. Um, I'm not exactly specifically sure what they're using for those, but it's very nice. It's, uh, it's a nice mix of both like some electronic elements just to add some pizzazz, a little tech to it. And then mostly just like, you know natural sounding elements um very nice in terms of the mix vocals are very up front guitars are very up front definitely towards the end you can tell the drums are a little bit more lower in the mix not necessarily a bad thing uh but i do love the sound of a, of a nice drum kit so this is the first time i've ever heard arch spire uh let's see what the people are saying this four-minute song is more snare hits than the whole of ACDC's discography. Oh, gosh. My favorite part is when the music goes really fast. This song has more lyrics than most albums do. Yeah, like, they were delivering so many lyrics. I'm telling you, Eminem in metal form. <laughs> God, man, rappers get faster and faster these days. Arc Spire's vocalist hold my cocaine. Oh, gosh. Um, I really enjoyed this song. So this is off of their 2017 record, Relentless Mutation. And actually, the next song we're going to be listening to is the closing song off of this record called A Dark Horizontal. Um, really love this album cover. And... I wanted to look, I mean, look at all of these lyrics. Like, this whole song is crazy. Had it tried, had it tried to send a beacon warning them to stay away, I heard the voices calling back involuntary doppelganger. Like, can you imagine trying to sing it that fast? Had it tried to send a beacon warning for them to stay away, I heard the voices calling back involuntary doppelganger. Like that's how fast he's delivering those. One last fate of the choir before the cut. I don't know. I don't know how he does it. Practice, obviously. But that's just really cool. I don't know. I love the delivery. I love the delivery. And um I feel like this would sound really dope live. So let's get into their closing song off of this record, which is a dark horizontal. Pleasant. 
Okay, <laughs> we're going to continue, obviously, but can we just talk about the layered guitar <laughs> for a second, okay? Two minutes to 19 seconds, and we've had layers of guitar. Oh, God, the delicious little bass, like, do 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 like, jazz guitar, jazz bass over metal guitar, deep metal, like, heavy, chuggy notes just freaking fluffing up your ears here I don't know there's a lot of guitar layering going on he's giving us these like rap style vocals still I'm getting like uh Neoblivascaris with like Cryptopsy <laughs> and this is like a nice combination really really nice it's kind of reminding me a little bit of Gojira too and this is like modern tech death, which we have not had on the channel. So this band came out in 2009. So definitely a more modern band for this genre for the channel. So let's continue. I'm pleasantly enjoying this track. Let's keep going. Cocktail hour, girl. Oh. Oh, my God. 
Nice. Great place to put a fade. Perfect. Love it. Great place to put a fade at the very last song of the album. They could have even let those notes kind of ring out a little bit longer and then had the fade because I feel like it was quite a fast ending, but that's just more of a personal thing. You know how I feel about this. Uh, Relentless Mutation. I've only listened to two of your songs and I already really enjoy this album. Okay. <laughs> Uh, for modern technical death metal, this is tasty, girl. Okay, they got a lot of stuff they're working with and throwing at you. Uh, what I can kind of just pick up from what they were dropping f upon first listen, uh, they're playing around with the drums, pulling back, bringing you a lot of stuff, giving you drum solos. Nice jazzy bass, jazzy guitar riffs here and there, like I mentioned. Uh, a lot of layers with the guitars, playing around with a lot of different um, filters in terms of how heavy it is um, and how soft it is. Um, <laughs> you also have this really catchy line, uh, trying to kill me. That's the only thing like that I really kind of caught lyrical. The seam is a man that's trying to kill me, like super catchy there. And it stands out the most in the song. Love his vocal delivery. Love his guttural vocals. Um, fits perfectly with the song. Great mix of, you know, technical death metal with this kind of jazzy, beautiful cocktail hour, like I said, music. Uh, Neobliviscaris meets Cryptopsy meets, you know... Gojira, uh, little bit of defeated sanity in there in terms of, uh, kind of the gutturals, but defeated sanity has, is just more intense on the spectrum. Uh, they're more aggressive and, and not as melodic as Archspire is. So Archspire is definitely kind of more of a melodic, technical, death metal. I kind of feel like there's a little bit of deathcore influence there, but I could be wrong. That could just be because they're more of a modern metal band these days. And that's kind of just like the overall sound for production these days. But you can let me know in the comments. Um... As far as members go, I think it's, is it, who's the one that's got the YouTube channel? Is it Dean Lamb? Yep, it's Dean Lamb. So he's the one that's got the uh, YouTube channel that I, um, we watched his touring is expensive video in one of my streams. Um, but he's got a YouTube channel. I know he's features some of his videos with his wife. Um, just super cool. I love when like famous people <laughs> just, you know, have YouTube channels and stream on Twitch or whatever and just like do their own thing and there's, it just makes them more real, I guess. And more like human, <laughs> just more relatable, I guess. Um, I just, I like that. So this is really, really cool. Um, Canadian death metal, like I said, modern. I, I like it. I really like this album. I like the production. Um, it's intense, but melodic. Like I said, it's got the best elements of tech death and it keeps you on your toes and it, it gives you, it delivers in all aspects. And really, what's kind of funny about technical death metal is it's kind of a generic term. There's so many different ways you can deliver technical death metal. Like I compared them with, um, cryptopsy and defeated sanity. Defeated sanity is more aggressive. Like I mentioned cryptopsy, at least their older records had more of like the, uh, jazzy influence. And this is kind of a mix of the two. So this is, <laughs> you know, you could almost say like old cryptopsy and Artspire kind of like this, technical jazz death metal <laughs> in a way I don't know I really like that cocktail hour soundtrack it's a total 180 in vibe and in this uh dark horizon I love that it goes into that vibe and it's such a switch because it's going like 
you know, flirty cocktail hour. I'm sipping my martini on the bar. Then it brings in the drums and I just envision this girl in this hot freaking black dress. She's getting up from the bar and she's walking over and she's about to talk to like, you know, the spy that's been staring at her, you know. And then, of course, it's like right before they actually talk, she's all right, she gets to him and then the music fades up and you hear just a little bit of the drums. It was, oh, it was most delicious fade up mm, I've heard in a long time nice fade up of a little bit of the drums and then gets you right back into does the tech death sound that is Arch Spire wonderful way to just play around with your instruments play around in the studio bring out multiple different vibes and just and just have fun I feel like now I want to start a technical death metal band just so I could produce stuff like this because this is just, oh, it's totally up my alley. Anyway, <laughs> so y'all let me know what you think down below on Archspire. What do you think about this band? Um, what is their impact in terms of technical death metal as a whole with the genre and modern metal now since they are from 2009? Um, what's their impact? Which album is your favorite? What do you think about about relentless mutation and um yeah what do you think about dean lamb have you seen arch spire live and uh that's that's what i got so if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please feel free to do so i post weekly videos documenting my metal journey as a brand new metal head i also have a discord the mosh pit there's an invite link down below in my description as well as my p.o box if you want to send something to be featured in one of my metal unboxing videos i also have a patreon if you feel inclined to support the channel a little bit more than just viewing or subscribing it's no pressure at all for me if you uh can't can't support the patreon and it's, it's totally fine girl i get it so just like share comment uh you know really helps out my channel um and yeah i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye you guys